It's a summertime camp that's in such high demand slots fill up in two hours. The goal is to change the makeup of the San Antonio Fire Department. It's called Hero Like Her, and it's attracting more women to a male-dominated industry. Today is San Antonio Fire Department's Hero Like Her camp. At the San Antonio Fire Department Training Academy on the west side. Yeah. More than 100 young women are learning what it takes All the way up. to become a firefighter. Exercises and they'll move into uh, different processes of, of what kind of things happen in the fire department. So with hose drags, uh, different putting, out, putting on gear, taking off the gear as quick as you can. It's the sixth year for the Hero Like Her program. Saturdays was the first of seven camps to take place this summer. Very fortunate to have uh, come in contact with over 5,000 kids here from the San Antonio area, vast majority of those being females through our Hero Like Her program. In a 2022 report, it showed men made up 95% of the San Antonio Fire Department. It is a male-dominated career, but, but this, the times are changing, and, and we need to diversify and show what our city is exactly in our fire department. Nationally, numbers are growing. In 2020, the nonprofit Women in Fire reported 90,000 female firefighters in the country, about 9% of all firefighters. The vast majority hold volunteer positions. Um, I've been in the department for, let's see, 24 years. Interim Deputy and, Fire uh, Chief yeah. Valerie Frausto is breaking barriers. Um, the second female to hold the rank of Deputy Fire Chief throughout my career. And there's been challenges, but it's been the best career in the world for me. While gaining experience in the field with current firefighters, she wants these aspiring team members to enjoy it. I've been having so much fun. For camper Sarah Owen, her mind is made up. My brother-in-law, Sam, he's a firefighter for Kenyon Lake. I love seeing like all the real stuff that we do here and I can't wait to join the department. And the younger group is going to go through that training tomorrow.